finally i found my youtube channel password so here i bring a new video for you icmr research scientist in the month of may there was some gadget from icmr where they have modified their hiring rules to make the farmd eligible for research scientist post now what are these research scientist post now we are going to see in the video short and crisp so subscribe to the channel right now because we are going to bring a lot of medical education related videos and even if you are not a farmd watch this video till the end you will get the idea about what are research scientist and little bit idea about icm or also let's start so basically we need to understand what is icmr as you know the long form is indian council of medical research but do you know it is the apex body in india for the formulation coordination and promotion of biomedical research it is an autonomous institute or autonomous body in india and it is governed by department of health research that is dhr under health ministry in india so before moving ahead a small quiz question for you you will get the answer of this quiz on my instagram at dr vishal farm d just go and search and see my story highlights in that i have posted all the quiz so the question is what was the previous name of icmr so icmr had a previous name comment the right one in the comment section and i will give you a heart reaction to the right comment so you will know what is the right comment we need to understand what governs these positions the name of the rules are health research scientist cadre hrsc rule 2007 So ICMR has about 19 research institutes and 6 regional medical research centers all over the India so it becomes 25 and 5 more units of those 6 regional medical research centers so it becomes about 30 so 30 centers where research scientists are hired right so health research scientist cadre very important rules 2007 that states the eligibility you need to know where are those institutes and what they exactly do so for example i am currently in pune so there is national central laboratory in pune that is called as ncl and also ari its research institute in pune so there are two major institutes in pune so these kind of institute do lot of research on lot of subjects particularly concerning to health so they need research scientists to do these projects now don't get confused between jrf srf that is junior research fellow senior research fellow research associates in those projects to research scientists so basically major difference is those jrf srf are project specific and that is counted in phd now again it may help you for some other job post like there are different categories of research scientist like b c d e f g so we are going to see where the phd will come into account so when the project starts up to when the project ends right for that kind of thing you need jrf srf but for research scientist is kind of permanent position in icmr where one research scientist can handle one or multiple projects simultaneously according to the need of the hour what i mean by need of the hour so say for example there were a lot of covid related projects during the covid times so a lot of research scientists were handling the covid related projects and if you go ahead and we see there are different kind of research scientist starting from b c d and research scientist e f g so b c d are like b is entry level position in the research scientist domain if you don't have major experience in the research be it academic research or be it uh, private institutional research so you can start with scientist b and again you can get promoted eventually to scientist c d e f g over years depending on your experience at handled projects and achievements currently there are a lot of research around malaria diarrhea and this kind of leprosy tuberculosis hiv aids and other viral diseases there are registries indian government conducting epidemiological studies so all those kind of things are governed by different kind of research scientists depending on the project requirements so now what are the eligibility criteria we are going to see in the official gazette only so we are on the screen of official gazette scientist b position first so name of the post scientist b and you can see classification of the post is class a group a so pay level 
the most interesting part you was waiting for i know so it is a salary so pay level 10 and it starts from 56100 as a base pay and goes up to 177500 depending on your profile age criteria is about 35 years relaxable in case of uh, some government of india instruction like uh, there may be some relaxation in some kind of uh, caste and other reservation things then as i told you there are about 30 major institutes so all these hire according to the requirements at their institute for research scientist post b c d e f g so say for example if it is medical and uh, they need a medical research scientist for a project for hiv aids then you need a requirement of eligibility like essential qualification or equivalent degree recognized by mci which is now called as nmc mci is no more it is nmc in india and desirable qualification is experience in research and development related to biomedical sciences see biomedical sciences research a lot of projects if you have done in your md or mbbs final year then it may be it become handy to you for this positions pharmacy so as you can see pharmacy degree that was missing in previous regulations now it is clearly stated farm degree and the important thing can you notice it it is only written as farm degree where you cannot see m farm and b farm now if you can question like whether they cannot apply they can apply but this was regarding the modifications done in the eligibility criteria so at plain they have involved only farm degree they have mentioned farm degree recognized by UGC or Pharmacy Council of India. So it is a big thumbs up for all of us that PharmD is only getting mentioned here. Then experience in research and develop, re development related to biomedical science. Again, same. If you have any experience, you have, we already do the projects in fifth year. So if you go uh, and do a significant projects by an ICMR grant and then do the project, then it may become handy for you to get the experience count in the research scientist B position. Finally, we are getting the recognition we always wanted for years. Non-medical research scientist, again, which is the stream where you can apply also. So those two streams become open to you now, non-medical and pharmacy. For someone who has uh, done your research in collaboration with foreign institutes, like say for example in student exchange programs, then again the pay scale variations can come into account for you then we have scientists see similar different streams but the pay scale is higher as it is a senior position so 67700 ranges up to 2 lakh 87 uh, 2 lakh 8700 if we see the pharmacy essential qualification is pharmd and four years of experience is required see the new column you can see here essential experience for scientist C that was missing in scientist B right so essential experience is four years at least four years right then if you do a PhD it can get counted in four years also so P PhD, PhD after PhD 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 like JRF, like JRF, SRF, SRF, SRF and the thing I the told, thing you, I at told you at the start right? JRF, SRF, JRF can, SRF come, can handy come handy to you, to you. so again, it, so again will, it will you will have, you will your, have PhD your PhD along with, along with the experience, the experience will, be counted, will be counted and you can, and direct, you can directly apply, apply for, for scientist, scientist C, C, positions. C positions PhD should be done in the subjects which are given in annexure 1 one thing I have to add here is that experience in research and development related to biomedical science relevant to the job requirement that is scientist C in government public sector or private institution will be admissible so again private institute experience that is academic research experience right many assistant professors while doing job do a lot of research projects or publish a lot of things during their assistant professor work so that can be again counted so next we move to scientist d similar thing to scientist c but here we need essential experience of 8 years Master of Public Health or MTech or ME will not be considered as any experience so you need to note that for scientist E you can see again now only 3 columns are there PhD from a recognized university after M farm 
एम एस सी फार्माकोलॉजी और फार्म डी पी एच डी इज नेसेसरी हेयर यूनिट टेन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस आफ्टर पी एच डी इंक्लूडिंग टू ईयर्स ऑफ मैनेजरियल एक्सपीरियंस फॉर ग्रेटर और लार्जर रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट दैट्स इट फॉर द वीडियो गाइड्स डू सब्सक्राइब राइट नाउ स्टे अपडेटेड इन द फ्यूचर फॉर ऑल द मेडिकल एजुकेशन रिलेटेड वीडियोज एंड डू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड शेयर विद ऑल योर फार्म डी फ्रेंड्स एडवाइजर एज वेल एज योर मेडिकल फ्रेंड्स स्प्रेड द अवेयरनेस अबाउट रिसर्च साइंटिस्ट पोस्ट